you know, it's really interesting. People tend to think that 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 catfishing is a a, a, a southern thing, south central, southwest. Yeah, you, know, you know all the rivers and reservoirs, and it is a big deal there. But uh, a lot of people have no idea on how good it is in parts of the northern states. Yeah, particularly for the channel catfish, we have the. Uh uh, the Red River of the re of uh, Minnesota that go goes on the Minnesota North Dakota South Dakota border into uh, Manitoba Selkirk into uh, ultimately into uh, Lake Winnipeg is probably some of the the finest big channel trophy, catfish trophy in trophy. North America and then even like in throughout Minnesota you know Wisconsin Iowa there's some fabulous uh, catfishing rivers all throughout the Midwest. For big big channels as well as we got some pretty big flatheads too we get some good flatheads you know the sports track that lund has uh in their boats is designed in almost all their boats is really nice in the fact that you can move them anywhere if i want to put multiple rod uh, rod holders out they have both uh, short arm models long arm models but the other thing is that's really nice is where you want to position with this track that runs all the way around the boat if it were forward trolling crappie fishing catfishing, each one of those different fishing situations, we'd have the rod holders positioned in a different way based on your technique. You could be drifting, we're fixed uh, p fishing here, or if you're forward trolling, obviously you're, you can move those rod holders ho accordingly. <clears throat> Tell me you need a net. No. no it ain't a net? No. No. Well, he's, he's cutting though. Something with this rod. Yeah. They pull so good at yeah, They do, yeah, they do. You gotta admit, it's a lot of fun, Jim. I'm gonna flip them in. <laughs> ooh, 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 this guy here could be another eater. You know, we're using just that classic catfish rig. This is a two ounce sinker, a BMC, a pretty heavy duty ball bearing swivel, and I have actually have a bead here. The bead is actually to protect the uh, uh, the knot from slamming on it. Actually, we've got relatively low current conditions, so I have a relatively uh, short leader, a six inch leader, and a uh, just a VMC octopo octopus style hook. This is our classic catfish rig, and it, it just the only thing that really changes about this rig, depending on the size of the catfish in the river you happen to be fishing. This is a three-odd octopus, VMC octopus. We could go to as you get on the upper uh, red when we're fishing for 25, 30 pounders, and then you're going up to like you know fours and five-odd hooks, a bigger hook with bigger b bigger uh, bait. Can't tell if they pull so good. I don't think it's one of them real big ones. I like to get a couple of them like you got earlier. You know what we're hearing right now? The top end of these fish that they're seeing up here according to the bait shop operator is, you know, they're getting some eights and tens. If you haven't done this, if you've never ever fished catfish, you need to do a little change of pace. Put your musky equipment away. Put your smallmouth equipment away. Your bass stuff, go give them a whirl. They're really, really fun. Doing different things for different kinds of fish, like cats or, or, or different varieties from the norm is always a fun thing. And you know what? It's going to make you a better fisherman in the end. I promise you that. Something different. It keeps it exciting. <laughs>